Planet of the Spiders is the fifth and final serial of the eleventh season of the British science fiction television series Doctor Who, which was first broadcast in six weekly parts on BBC One from 4 May to 8 June 1974. It was John Pertwee's last serial as the third Doctor, and marks the first, uncredited appearance of Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor. It marks the last regular appearance of Mike Yates. This serial introduces the term, Regeneration. The serial is set in England and on the planet Metabellus III. In the serial, the fired salesman Lupton John Durth allies with a race of psychic spiders called the Eight Legs to gain power. Topic. Plot Following the events of Invasion of the Dinosaurs, Mike Yates was discharged from UNIT and is now attending a Tibetan meditation center in rural England. Sarah Jane Smith visits him and they witness some curious events, seemingly organized by a resident called Lupton, a middle-aged former salesman, and his cronies. Mike and Sarah stumble across Lupton performing an incantation, which conjures up a giant spider into the middle of the basement room. It jumps on Lupton's back and then disappears. The spider manifests itself in Lupton's head, telling him to seek out and locate a certain blue crystal. The third doctor has developed an interest in psychic ability, but his testing of a clairvoyant called Professor Clegg backfires when his subject has a heart attack. It is triggered when Clegg comes into contact with a blue crystal from Metabellus III sent back from the Amazon by Joe Grant, which caused him to see the image of deadly spiders. Sarah returns from the retreat and she and the Doctor swap spider tails. Meanwhile, Lupton has also arrived at Unit HQ and steals the crystal from the Doctor's laboratory. A multi-vehicle chase ensues which Lupton escapes by teleporting himself back to the monastery. Once there, the spider reveals that it is plotting against some of its sisters back on Metabellus III. The spiders and the crystal originate from the same blue planet in the Actaean galaxy, which was none too hospitable to the Doctor the last time he visited during the Green Death. The Doctor and Sarah now make for the monastery and tell the deputy abbot, Choja, that something is very amiss. The crystal now strays again when it is taken by Tommy, the simple-minded handyman of the retreat, whose mind is opened and improved by the power of the crystal. Lupton is teleported to Metabellus III, unwittingly allowing Sarah to follow him. She soon meets the human slave inhabitants of the planet, a generally dispirited bunch, other than the rebellious Iraq, who is in hiding. The planet is ruled by the eight legs or giant spiders, and their queen is the supreme ruler. They govern using guards chosen from among the planet's two-leg population and their own phenomenal mental powers, amplified by the blue stones of the planet. The Doctor arrives and makes contact with Iraq, who explains that the Metabelians are the descendants of the crew of an Earth spaceship, which crashed hundreds of years before. A spider on board found its way to the Blue Mountains where, through the effect of the crystals, its progeny grew larger and cleverer. The Doctor works out that a negative stone can absorb and reject the power of the blue crystals. He starts a revolt among the humans, now protected by these stones, but this is not effective far into the Blue Mountains. The Doctor explores there and encounters the Great One, an enormous spider which controls the world of Metabellus and desires power over other domains too. She craves the crystal as it will complete a lattice of hundreds of similar crystals on her web and magnify her mental powers immensely. She knows the crystal is still on Earth and sends the Doctor there to get it for her. He flees back to Earth with Sarah, not knowing the Queen Spider has now implanted itself in his companion's mind. Tommy has given the crystal to the abbot, Kayunpo Rinpoche, who is an elderly time lord and the one-time hermit mentor of the Doctor. He now lives in peaceful exile on Earth. He tells the Doctor of Sarah's control and they work together to expel the Queen Spider. A fight breaks out in the monastery between Lupton's cronies and the abbot's men. The abbot advises the Doctor to take the crystal to the Great One. He suggests that, as the Doctor started this chain of events by removing the crystal in the first place, it is up to him to put it back. 
He departs in the TARDIS with the crystal. On Metabellus III, Lupton has been killed by the spiders after falling out with the Spider Queen. When the TARDIS lands, the Doctor heads to the Cave of the Great One with the crystal. He warns her of the danger of completing the lattice but she does so anyway. However, the forces unleashed are too strong for the Great One and the positive feedback kills her and the other spiders. A vast wave of deadly radiation floods the cave. The Doctor, now very weak, staggers back to the TARDIS and away. Three weeks later, Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart and Sarah are in the Doctor's laboratory when the TARDIS materializes and the Doctor finally returns, on exiting the TARDIS he collapses on the floor. The abbot Kayunpo arrives in his new body, having regenerated into the form of Choja, who was a sort of forward projection of his soul. He tells them that the Doctor will change too and before their eyes the Doctor regenerates into his fourth incarnation. Topic. Production The final story of season 11 to have been titled The Final Game was originally intended to write out the character of the Master, with the villainous Time Lord sacrificing his life to save the Doctor. Due to the death of actor Roger Delgado, script editor Terence Dix abandoned the project in favor of a new story, which eventually evolved into Planet of the Spiders. The railway station at which Sarah Jane arrives in Part 1 is Mortimer, near Reading. Topic. Cast notes Isan Churchman had provided the voice of Alpha Centauri in both The Curse of Peladon 1972 and its sequel The Monster of Peladon the serial immediately preceding Planet of the Spiders, she would briefly reprise the role in Empress of Mars 2017. Kismet Delgado, the widow of Roger Delgado, who had played the Master during the Third Doctor's era, was one of the voices for the Spiders. Carl Forgione would later play Nimrod in Ghost Light 1989. Christopher Burgess had previously played Swan in The Enemy of the World 1968. <laughs> Topic. Broadcast and reception The story was edited and condensed into a single omnibus episode broadcast on BBC One at 2.45 p.m. on 27 December 1974, reaching 8.6 million viewers. The compilation was included on the DVD release of the complete story. Paul Cornell, Martin Day, and Keith Topping wrote of the serial in the Discontinuity Guide 1995. Grotesquely over padded and stuck with bad CSO, Planet of the Spiders is not the celebration of an era that it should have been. However, they felt that the regeneration scene almost atones for this. In 2010, Patrick Mulkern of Radio Times praised the regeneration and wrote that it had fun. He noted that some of the cliffhangers were unusually feeble, but the first was one of the best. DVD Talks John Sinnott gave the story three out of five stars, writing that it was enjoyable, despite not the great send-off that Pertwee should have received, with padding and weak special effects. Reviewing the serial for SFX, Ian Berriman rated the serial three and a half out of five stars and described it as a mix of the fresh and the hokey. While he noted that some of plot was repetitive and traditional, he praised the inclusion of Buddhism. In 2010, Alistair Wilkins of io9 called the story a mashup of a bunch of different types of Third Doctor stories. But the plot was not enough to stretch out over six episodes and so a lot of unnecessary elements were added. However, Wilkins felt that it was a good thematic end for the third Doctor, and named it the third best regeneration but the third worst regeneration story. In 2009, SFX listed Sarah Jane with the spider on her back as the tenth scariest Doctor Who moment. <laughs> Topic. Commercial releases Topic. 
In print A novelization of this serial, written by Terence Dix, was published by Target Books in October 1975 as Doctor Who and the Planet of the Spiders. The novel's prologue shows Joe Grant and her husband Professor Jones in the Amazon jungle following the events of the Green Death. Harry Sullivan is referred to as Dr. Sweetman. Topic. Home media The serial was released on VHS in April 1991 as a double pack. It was released on DVD in the UK on 18 April 2011, and in the USA and Canada on 10 May 2011. This serial was also released as part of the Doctor Who DVD files in issue 110 on 20 March 2013.